Hi, I'm Colin McPhillips, and this is Board Meetings. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the glider. The main features of a glider is its length. 10.0 to 12.0 is generally the size. You gotta get it longer than a, a traditional longboard, which is, you know, more in the nine foot range. You could ride them as a kind of a more fish style swallowtail glider, pintail, rounded pin, squash tail, single fin, more traditional style, twin fin, loosen them up a two plus one fin setup, which I like to ride because it gives it a lot more looseness and drive. There's lots of great shapers out there. I personally ride my two favorite boards that I pretty much ride on an almost an everyday basis are made by two very famous shapers, Jerry Lopez and Donald Takayama. My 11 one is, is a board produced by Donald Takayama by Surf Tech Designs and then Jerry Lopez also by Surf Tech Designs. It's made for small waves. It's a real connect point A to point B kind of point break style surfboard. The bottom line is you go out on a knee high wave and you're on, on a glider, it's all about fun and you have the time of your life. The history of a glider goes way back to the 50s and 60s when they first started making boards. Back then they weren't specifically making them as a glider modern day glider, but their boards were long. They were 12 feet, they were 11 feet, you know, they were 10 feet and they were pretty much giant, heavy pieces of wood that pointed straight and went. There wasn't a lot of maneuverability, this and that. A modern day board, yeah, I might be riding a 12 foot board, but I could still turn it, direction change, climb high, ride low, and that's the difference. That's, that's kind of, it, it, it stems back to the 50s and 60s, but modern day gliders are very different. They're very maneuverable. They're still the point A to point B, kind of go fast, go straight, but you kind of have a mix of everything. Some examples of where a glider works best is simple, a point break. You have sections to beat, you have point A to point B, you take off from point A at the top of the point, and you wanna make it all the way down to the end of the bay, point B, and you need to connect the dots and the speed and the glide you get out of a glider with its length being you know, 10 feet, 12 feet, 11 feet, whatever is your preference. You have unlimited speed. You can make it so far and ride a wave for so far. I mean, I am pretty hooked on, on a glider. I love it. And I found perfect conditions for a glider in Fiji, in South Africa, in Mexico, and then right here in my own backyard in San Clemente, California, has some of the best wintertime, small waves, no crowds, glider conditions ever. So it's pretty much you're just looking for knee to chest high, point break, preferably no crowds because it's great. You're on a big board. You don't want to have to dodge people. The bottom line is they're made for when no one else surfs because the waves are too small. You take your glider out and have the time of your life by yourself. That's the best thing about them. So the problem with the glider is transportation. Let's say your board is 11 feet. It's pretty hard to take on airlines. I have done it. I've had to talk my way onto it. Most airlines do not like it. So they tend to be a board that you ride in your own backyard where you can just throw it on your truck go to your local surf spot, ride it, or trips that you travel with by car. Funny story for me, I was in Fiji, you know, two years ago, and I ended up just taking a board off the wall that was like a, a wall hanger in the, above a pool table, because I thought it looked great. I ended up riding it off my whole trip, and it was 11.6. Fast forward to present time this year, I took my favorite 11.1 with me, and I got it on the plane, but funny thing is when I first took my board bags into the airport, I ran back to the curb, I had a, uh, Airways representative waiting for me saying, hey, sir, there's no way you have to take that home with you. 35 minutes later, talked my way on and the board made it and I pretty much had the best couple weeks ever with my own 11 footer riding perfect little waves. And the beauty of the glider is when you take it out, you're usually served with nobody else because it's when it's too small to ride other equipment. Once you ride one and you get familiar with the length, it's a board you have to have in your quiver and you won't leave it at home. You'll take it at all costs. So the glider as a surfboard is so unique. There's no competition for them. I've never really heard of a contest specifically for a glider division or let alone any division of boards 10 feet and bigger. But I have one time, it was an expression session. It was tied onto another event in North Carolina and they had an expression session glider division. Not everybody was riding traditional gliders. It was kind of like, what did you get your hands on? 
I was lucky enough to borrow a proper 11 foot board from a friend. It was great. I, I personally wish it would kind of all of a sudden happen and they start running some divisions like that because I think it'd be really fun and different, especially at certain breaks. But as of today, I personally don't know of any glider competitions. Someday, hopefully, I keep my fingers crossed because it would be a lot of fun. A glider for me is actually a very special board. I've surfed all types of equipment. I've ride, you know, boards from small to big, this, that, competed and everything. And I've just very recently in the last couple of years really gotten into riding a glider. It's kind of funny to say that some of my most memorable surf sessions have been on a knee high wave by myself on my 11 foot board. Because most people think of like, oh, it's like the best, the best waves, bigger waves, perfect waves, this, that. And I could say things that pop out of my head in today is sessions I've had at some of my favorite breaks. It's need to waist high and nobody's out because it's so small. And I'm on my big board, just cruising point A to point B, riding waves for, you know, 30, 45 seconds long because of the board I'm on. I've always said foam is your friend. A glider being 11 foot is, has a lot of foam, a lot of volume, a lot of paddle power. And the bottom line is it just makes wave riding fun. Doesn't matter the conditions, the size, the board makes it fun. You feel like you're just, you know, the knee high wave in your head, the speed, the flow. You could be on a six foot wave and you get the same feeling. So I'm kind of chasing that. I'm hooked on it and I, I, I love a knee high wave on the right equipment and just chase that feeling. All right, everybody out there, I hope you can get a chance, hop on a glider, get the same feeling I get, get the same stoke. I swear it'll change your surfing life It'll make everyday bad conditions that you just look at the ocean, it'll make you wanna get out there and you'll chase one foot waves. And you might get addicted and crazy like I am about it, but it's a good thing. Thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun talking about the glider and uh, stay tuned.